All right. All right. Good morning, friends, colleagues, faculty, and administrative members. My name is Juan Cruz, and I am your student org president. I want to share a very personal experience that involves gun violence and a teenager from East LA. There was a time that East Los Angeles children were able to get a gun from the black market. This kid had violent tendencies, but using a gun to shoot another person never crossed his mind. This was not the case for many teenagers. At 14, he was out late, around 10 p.m. He met up with some friends and went to the corner to get a snack. He then walked back to his friend's apartment. Instead of going inside, he, he decided to stay out and enjoy the late summer night. On July 26, 2005, a car passed by and fired five shots. One bullet grazed his friend's right leg. Three bullets missed, but the last bullet found its way to his face. It grazed his right cheek and pierced his right ear. He was only 14. After the drive-by, he ran to a friend's apartment for safety. With a numb face and no car, he ran back to his house. He found his mom and rushed, and rushed to the nearest hospital, the White Memorial in Boyle Heights. He was 14. His life could have been taken, but by luck, he was given a second chance to live. Now that young man stands here before you. I was that kid. I was that kid who got lucky. Yet this is not the case for many Americans who have been victims of gun violence. This was not the case in Sandy Hook Elementary School. This was not the case in San Bernardino. This is not the, the case in the inner city where minorities continue to be shot dead because of easy gun accessibility. As a nation, we must work together to push Congress to close these loopholes. Many, many cynics state that California has strict gun laws, yet so many people are able to get guns. This is true. But our neighboring states do not have strong gun laws. Someone can easily drive to Arizona or even Nevada and bring back weapons which, which can easily be sold in the inner city. Let us not be fooled by the critics and let's push for a comprehensive gun control. But let me also be clear that it is not just a law that needs to be reinforced. We must also change this absurd gun culture if we want to minimize these mass shootings. Let's highlight another critical issue. We need to demilitarize our police departments. These are not war zones. These are communities. Black lives matter, and we will not stand for such injustice. I will leave you all with a quote from President Obama. We're not going to eliminate gun violence, but we will lessen it. If we take the number from 30,000 to 28,000, that's 2,000 families who don't have to go through or with the families of Newtown or San Bernardino or Charleston went through. And with that, I conclude my speech. Thank you all. I would now like to welcome your student org vice president, Erica Navoa.